Hi there, welcome back to this week's update. So all of next week's pre-order announcements are up on the Warhammer community website. I just want to give you my take on it. So we've got Bellacore. Now, this is very anticipated. They've made a lot of it. Obviously, anyone who owns Bellacore now, the new one is massive. It looks absolutely huge. So it's going to be really interesting to see what the price is. But that is the big dominating aspect of next week's releases. There is a lot of boxes thrown together. We've got two new heroes, but um, we've got a lot of what we've already seen before anyway. So let's just go through them. We start with the ridiculously massive Bellacore. So this is a huge, huge model. We know already that we have options of either giving it a 40k look with Space Marine on the, on the base, with a Age of Sigmar look, with a dead Stormcaster 2 on on there. But I believe there's going to be a way also to do it so as it is neutral and can be used for both. To go with him, we have a new Broken Realms book and confirmation that there will be a special edition version of it as well, only available from Games Workshop. Now, I have to admit, I have let Broken Realms pass me by. I haven't bought any of these books, but I am interested in taking a look back at them because um, I, I gather that they are fairly well received and they do look very cool. So this is the last of the new releases in terms of actual new models for Games Workshop stuff. There's some new Forge World stuff, which I'll get to later on. But this is the new stuff. The rest of the releases are reboxings of things that were, have already come out. So if that's all you're interested in, just seeing the brand new stuff, this is the last one. So we've got the Cruel Ghast Cruciator for the Night Haunt and Gardas Steel Soul for the Stormcast Eternals. Okay, so we've got four new boxes, battalion boxes, that are kind of, they go along with the releases of the Broken Realm stuff. So the first one we've got is Astrazan, the Immolator, and a bunch of horrors. So, yeah, as we can see, this is all stuff we already own. What I'll do is when the prices come out tomorrow, and I'll do a video going through that, I'll also list the breakdown of this box and all the other boxes that are up for pre-order next week. So I'll go through the list of what's in there, and give you what the price saving is if you buy it in this box as opposed to individually. Next up for the Seraphon, we've got Star Warden Ictu and the Celestial Stampede. Now I really like Seraphon in general, but I haven't bought any of these models in the past because they're pretty expensive. So they're between 35 and 37.50 each. So it'll be very interesting to see how well this discounted is through this box. So this might be an opportunity for any of you Seraphon fans to jump on something that maybe have just been out, out of your financial reach. Now for fans of the Night Haunt, we've got Lady Olinda and the Sorrow Morn Choir. Now anyone who tunes into this channel for, on a regular basis, you'll know that I collect the Mortal Realms magazine. So I've already got almost all of this stuff except for Lady, Lady Olinda. However, everything else in here are things that you can bolt onto your existing forces. So, you know, the, the extra models that are in here, you know, they'll, they'll be good for your Nighthorn armies. But again, I'll break it all down with the prices and release that tomorrow. And then the last of these collection boxes, we've got Drongon Homboldson and his Ether Runners. Now, this looks very cool as well. And some of us have been able to get these models fairly, fairly cheap recently when they came out with the Warcry box just a few months ago. So except for Drongon himself, a lot of these things that you know some of us have been able to pick up for a good price fairly recently. So it'll be interesting to see how these are priced. Now just before we move on to Forge World, I just wanted to say a huge thank you to anyone who used my affiliate link to buy Curse City, either when it originally went on sale and ran out within about three minutes, and anyone who's pre-ordered for a wave two just, just want to say thank you very much to everyone for doing that because that you know it's it's really helps the channel out and it's uh yeah it's very very kind of you so thank you so much for that if there's any of you who do want to use my affiliate link or would consider doing so it's in the description um no pressure or anything like that but it does really help me out it's the best way for you to help the channel at the moment i have launched the patreon and there is a link to it in the description but i would say that I haven't populated it with any content or anything like that yet. So that will be, be uploaded over the course of the next week or so. And just sticking with Curse City, next week I'll be doing a little tutorial on how to build some terrain for it. So some walls and 
a few little things like that but that will be coming up towards the end of the next week i won't be doing an unboxing there's enough of those out there already without me throwing mine into the mix but i am going to be playing it solo a good two or three times over the next couple of days so i will be releasing my review at some point fairly soon i'd say to be honest with you i have seen a few reviews already i'm going to stop reading them because i don't want them to influence my thoughts on the game or anything like that before I get a chance to play. But it's interesting to see that there are some very different opinions out there already. So I'm really looking forward to it though. Anyway, back to next week's pre-orders. So for Princeps Forces, we have Volkite upgrades for Adeptus Titanicus. There's a fair few of them other than the one that I've got in the image here. Unfortunately, I won't have the prices for these tomorrow. I can only get the Games Workshop stuff, unfortunately. I can't get access to the pricing for Forge World. And then finally, we have got King Dane Ironfoot and Thorin Stonehelm from the Middle Earth strategy battle game. Now, I actually like both of these models. I think if I was going to pick one up, I'd probably stick with Dane because I think it's a, it's a nicer pose. But yeah, I haven't got any Middle Earth strategy battle game products at all, but I've been thinking about it recently. But yeah, so this is the last thing that's going on sale next week. But again, this is another Forge World product. So that's it for this week. So again, we've got another week of a lot of new products coming out. So particularly Bellacore, that's the big highlight for this week, really. Uh, and those other two heroes look really cool as well. But it's going to be really interesting to see the price of this Bellacore model and the availability. Because we know that recently availability has been a big problem for Games Workshop products. But anyway, join me tomorrow for the price breakdown. And again, I'll go through each of those individual battalion boxes and work out how much you'll save by buying those. But that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll see you all very, very soon. Take care.